Hello everyone, how are you all? So this is Subha Kitana here and uh, recently I have been asked about ma'am how to start my preparation for the next prelims 2025. How to efficiently do my preparation, what is the strategy? So for this uh, questions that I have been receiving from my students, uh, I would like to present you with this video where we will discuss what are the shortcomings we usually face in terms of preparation process and how we are going to start the preparation and how we are going to efficiently do it. So let's go into the topic how to start the preparation for the 2025 examination. So before going into the strategy part, I would like to, uh, you know, demystify there are certain myths related to UPSC preparation. Actually, these myths are stopping us from the sustainable form of preparation. So what do I mean by sustainable form of preparation is that in UPSC preparation, one big uh, you know, uh, struggle is to sustain in the preparation process efficiently. So, to sustain the preparation process, which I mean like usually we start a preparation for a few days, we push ourselves into the preparation process so hard and suddenly we feel very tired or we feel, uh, you know, like giving up. And this is what I say, not sustaining in the uh, UPSC preparation. In this process, we would see some myths here. And the first myth is compromising the mental health is normal. To be honest, if the preparation is properly planned, our mental health will actually be better, not compromising it. So, second one is physical activity should be avoided to save the energy for this preparation process and that is not true. What I would say is mental health and physical health are actually interlinked and every day of one hour of activity, physical activity, uh, especially under the sun will give us more serotonin secretion which will actually help us to sustain in this preparation process. Initially, we might feel tired for like one week or two weeks, then we will, you know, get used to it. And in a long term, like we have our examination on uh, May 25, 2025. So for that long term, this will actually give us a very good stamina to both prepare efficiently and also give the examination more efficient uh, way. And no social life other than studying. Actually, what I would say is we should not go for any extreme, like no social life or completely into social life. We should know where to draw the boundaries and we should plan our day accordingly that we have the time for preparation efficiently at the same time, you know, uh, for the social life also. And read more books, like reading every material possible, reading every books possible, that's not true. So this examination is not just about how much data you gather. This examination is more about what you know and how confident you are about what you know. So, stick to certain books, stick to certain materials and keep repeating them again and again because revision is actually the key to clear this examination. And uh, last one is newspaper is not needed for the exam and that's the biggest of all myths. Without newspaper, it is really tough to clear this examination. Uh, for that, we have analysis also, you can watch that. Along with that, you read the newspaper. So, what happens is that it is always like top to bottom approach. Newspaper is like a map. From that current affairs, you go to the basics and those questions actually reflect in the examination. So, it's not like without newspaper, just reading all the materials, you can clear this examination and that's not true. Newspaper is one of the important part of this preparation process. And next is ice breaking issue. You know, the first time like writing the test prelims first time, writing, you know, opening a book for the first time, because we always wait for the right time, you know, like we want everything to be set in a proper place to sit and study, proper time to go and write the test, everything we look for and we always blame something else for not starting something and that's not actually right. So, ice breaking issue is the biggest of all issue. You have to start don't wait for the perfect time or don't, uh, you know, believe yourself that uh, we have to study more. Only when I am completely thorough with what I am going to study, and then only I can give a test. That's not true. Because test series is a part of your preparation by itself. Only when you start attempting the test, you will understand what are all the shortcomings you are actually facing during the examination, be it preliminary examination, be it mains or be it the personality test, whatever it is, only when you start you know, attempting some test, only when you start attempting, you know, writing, you will know where are the issues you have. So, ice breaking issues has to be addressed. And for that, what I am going to tell you is, I will give you a tentative schedule. Like, I have divided it from September 15 to January, from January to April. Then the last month, what we have to do. So, I have given you one uh, tentative schedule. And based on this, I want you to decide for yourself what will work. So, why I am giving you such a way that is that the preparation itself is a marathon. You cannot run the start and get tired. It's like the marathon. And the last one month is like the sprint. 
so there you have to pick up a very good speed but before that it should be slow steady and more efficient so in that way my suggestion from september 15 to jan is that start first every day should start with a realistic plan so efficient at the same time realistic plan and for that you should start planning first plan should not be like for one month you give a plan like within this 30 days i'll finish two subjects this is not a realistic plan this is not an efficient plan also you should know what topic you are going to study starting from the micro plans what time you are going to wake up and how much time you are going to spend and sometimes plans change during the process also there might be some reason you are not able to fulfill a part of a plan and you have to find an efficient method to fulfill that also and there are few days where you are not able to sit and study and for those days also a plan should be in a different way so an efficient and realistic plan for that you should know about yourself like okay i am able to sit and study like this uh, for example uh, uh, let's take myself and i won't be able to sit and study let's say for one hour at a stretch so what i can do is i'll take a very small but frequent breaks like 25 minutes i take then 5 minutes of break so again i sit and study for 25 minutes again a 5 minutes of break so this 5 minutes of break should be strictly followed such that i should not go beyond that 5 minutes and that 5 minutes also should be like taking a walk or listening to a song or something like that and next is uh, daily newspaper analysis so this is what i would say is the proper newspaper analysis like starting from the current affair of that particular news and going to the basic and most importantly when you are doing all these things you should take a crisp notes so for example you say you can see that in the newspaper analysis and editorial analysis of our channel we will be giving you the crisp notes so from that also you can take micro notes like you take the print out or you just take one small note and make note of whatever concepts you are usually forgetting for example let's say factual data is tough for you then take a notes for factual data or you are uh, forgetting one particular topic always like one particular subject always then you have to take extra effort to take notes of that particular topic so such that daily newspaper analysis and these two things will repeat every day it should start from september 15 and should go till you know uh, one day before the examination and next is syllabus of mains so in september 15 to january i would suggest you to go and prepare for mains examination as if you are going to write a mains examination on january so why i am telling you this is now like the present day there is the thin line between the preliminary syllabus and main syllabus is actually diminishing number 1 and number 2 without properly addressing main topic clearing the prelims is actually tough so what i would suggest you is this time from september 15 to january you start you know refining the skills that are required for mains so from that the first one is understanding the syllabus of mains for every terms in the main syllabus do you have any notes if you do not have notes you prepare some notes very simple uh, notes with example for every terms in the main syllabus and then i would suggest you to go for notes preparation for your optional paper so this optional when it comes to optional for every optional one major issue i have faced and i have seen uh, from many aspirants is that when they are preparing for the mains or when they really want to study optionals or any test series they won't have the notes gathered in one place it is all scattered and it is not updated so this time from september 15 to january is a time where you gather all your notes keep it at one place keep updating those notes so this is where you prepare the notes and you will definitely thank me when you clear the preliminary examination because we will be hardly having 3 months from the preliminary examination to the mains examination at that situation you have kept all the mains uh, notes ready and it will be more efficient when you are preparing for the mains examination and finally very important you have to enroll in the mains test series so why i am talking about the mains test series is that whatever the first four points is the 50 percentage of preparation because the mains test series when you start writing only you will know where are you are getting stuck because you can think about something and suddenly you remember all the you know data related to one question but when you start writing there you will face realistic issues because it's not how much you know it's how much you write in the examination papers which is going to fetch you the marks so this is the right time you work in the mains test series because again coming to mains test series it is not just about you know writing the perfect answer 
along with that you have you can do all the experiments and find out the efficient way of scoring good marks in the mains ups examination this is the right time you do all these experiments you can find out where you are lagging you can find out which is your uh, strength so all these SWOT analysis can be done at this time. So next is January to April. You can note down that I have made this schedule only from January to April because for May, I will be giving you a different, uh, you know, schedule which will work efficiently. First is efficient and realistic plan, an overall plan and a day-to-day -day basis. And newspaper analysis should keep continuing and uh, current affairs to basic approach, you have to be making the crisp notes. And then prelims based static subject preparation. For example, last year, uh, you know, 2024, like, sorry, this year, 2024 preliminary examination, they asked about parts of Indian constitution. So, there are certain topics which always keep coming in the examination from the basic static part and that has to be studied at this particular time and if needed, if there is any factual data which is having a potential to be asked in the examination, take notes, crisp notes. And then uh, what is that next is current affairs notes revision. So, you have revised, you know, you have prepared a notes from uh, uh, September to January. So, from January to April also you are preparing the notes on a day to day basis and this notes has to be revised. So, you can see so much revision, revision words I have mentioned, it might sound very different. I am telling you, everybody is having a similar form of memory, at least most of us are having similar form of memory, where our factual knowledge, where our certain knowledge keeps fading away over time. So, if you want to retain those datas, which will help you in the examination, revision is the only way. So, that is one important point and prelims test series, again from January to April, we have to be enrolled in the prelims test series and that prelims test series will definitely uh, will you know help us to understand where we are standing and it will help us to rectify all the issues because why i am telling you this is that be it prelims or mains it's not just about we remembering the datas it's more than that like prelims examination is about decision making so under pressure how we are able to take a decision where all the four options look very similar at some times. So, for this particular thing, you can, you know, see where are you are lagging, what are all the subjects you are having issues with, what are all the types of questions you are having issues with, everything can be addressed in this test series. And finally, the last month sprint. This last month sprint should be used to entirely address whatever you have prepared till now only to revise. This last month is for revision, exclusively for revision. Do not think about reading something new. These four months are, uh, you know, the time where you have to address. There will be certain subject you could have eliminated. You could have felt very tough and you have not touched it yet. This is the right time. This January to April is the right time where you open those topics, at least get familiar with. Just turn the pages, read it at least once. Do not try to study, just try to read it. Then what happens is that once you are reading it once, twice, you know, reading is more efficient than actually sitting and pushing yourself to study something. Read it once, read it twice, read it thrice. You actually start, you know, remembering all those data. That is how these movie lyrics also works. We just we just don't try to sit and uh, you know memorize those lyrics. We sing it again and again and again, and suddenly subconsciously you are able to sing every word continuously even after uh, you know many years. So that is how our memory works. So this is the right time you start familiar familiarizing yourself with the subjects which you haven't touched it or which you feel is very tough for you. And the last month spirit is the time where you entirely revise what you have done from. September 15 to April end. So, this last month, I would tell you, you should have an efficient and realistic plan where this last month should be more, uh, you know, you should spend more time into preparation without leaving your physical activity. Do not stop that. It will actually help you work more efficient and uh, this realistic plans, you know, you should have a proper list of what all you should be studying and you keep the list, you tick or strike down every checklist you have and keep preparing every day. And then the newspaper analysis should keep continuing. There is a myth that, you know, the questions do not come from one month of the, uh, you know, examination, one month before the examination and that is not true. So, it is better to keep continuing the newspaper analysis every day and you can do one thing. Instead of reading entire newspaper, you can at least watch the, you know, editorial and newspaper analysis videos and keep updating your current affairs note along with that revising whatever you have done. The basics revision, current affairs revisions, everything has to be revised. It will be boring when you are doing it for the third or fourth time. 
but we have to revise keep revising it it might be boring it's okay and one who is crossing the boredom will actually have the more chance of clearing this examination and finally PYQ test previous year question test and I have mentioned self analysis this previous year question test when I have seen many people preparing previous year question by memorizing the answers and that's not the right way so what I will do is that we will meet in another video where I will show how we have to analyze a previous year question and uh, the notes or everything can actually start after the previous year question analysis also this previous year question test is where I would tell you to take any test like at least 10 years of question paper solve it you mark the answer then you check with the key and see why you have answered certain questions wrong is it the word you got confused with is it the concept you are not thorough with what is the reason you have to find out even if the answer is through guess right like you are not sure about the answer but guess you have got it right that also should be considered as wrong answer and you should see why you are not thorough with the answer this kind of analysis and one more thing is that always practice such that you finish the test here in all the prelims test series or your previous year question analysis where you finish your test in one and a half hours so why i am telling you this is that this half an hour of buffer will actually help you when you are facing the preliminary question the surprise factor exists in every question paper so what happens is that we will have a buffer time of half an hour and an extra time to think certain questions we are not that sure with and that half an hour will actually give us at least five marks extra from what we would have done if we have practiced for two hours here so this previous question test video we will be meeting again and this has to be done as a self analysis you should sit with the question paper keep looking at the question paper one more reason is that by doing the previous year question analysis we will understand the question paper setter's mind which is more important to face any kind of question that comes from, from the upsc examination why because is that once you understand the you know question paper setter's mindset attempting a question will be having you know even more better edge from your side so thank you so much all the best we will meet in next video about the previous year question analysis. Thank you.